Hello everybody, welcome back. It's Solo here and today I have to say I finished the season pass. As you can see, my druid right in front of you. Doesn't he look good? He looks very mighty with his golden armor, the particle effects and everything else. I worked hard for it. Don't know how long I needed to do it. Also the transmox, I like it very much. I say it was worth it to play the season, to get the season pass. And I want to talk with you about my um, end build. So I did not achieve level 100, but I finished the season pass with level 65 as you can see. And we are going right into the game. I want to show you a little bit about my build and the build is the landslide build with the creepers and after this episode I want to do another build but first of it we got the mount or the skin for the mount very good the particle effects are here and there I have to say the optic is not very um, important because it's an action RGPD, <laughs> ARGPD, action role playing game. Sorry, I don't know where the D comes from. And you won't see it that much because if you move out of it, also I have my bare form. So let's go for the build. And I did a little bit uh, different than the other Landsalt builds because I used some uniques or two uniques. The first one was the Werber unique where I turn the earth skills into Werber skills. Very interesting because I'm turned into Werber and when I'm a Werber I take 17% uh, less uh, damage as you can see uh, more I do more damage and I take less damage because I have something else which uh, provides me with damage reduction in web perform the second one is the web perform uh, becomes now my true form and all wear pair ranks get plus three also we have here the damage reduction while fortified and some other things. It's the insatiable fury. Also when we look at my skill for the landslide. You can see I have around 8. I could get a little bit higher. But that's the 5 plus the 3. I also got the boots. When I have to fortify it, we get plus two. That means I have a landslide of level 10, which is very good. I crit with something like 100,000 to 150,000 sometimes. And for the next thing, we have uh, the casting of storm strikes. Uh, storm skills increase the earth skill damage and vice versa. This functions with the auto triggering of the passive uh, nature's fury where we have a chance of 30% uh, percent to trigger something else also very nice nice synergy then we have something to get a little bit more defense and two ra ranks of trample which is not very important but I took it nonetheless we have the fortified then we have our weapons for the poison creeper and this could be a little bit better, but I used the ask, uh, aspect printing for the um, amulets and for the rings. We use the other important aspects for this build. The landslide uh, has a second time attack with nine bonus and uh, nine percent bonus damage. Then we have trample now causes six landslide pillars of earth during the duration that deal normal damage and trample is now a nature mag magic and earth skill that's that's why i used it 
it also triggers now all the other things. And we have uh, more skill damage of our core skills, uh, stri critical strike damage, which is also very good. And for the hearts, we have the pull in a heart, the devious heart, 48 enemies get built in. We got more critical damage because I did not go for the fourth difficulty act where we get the heart that um, saves all the critical damage and explode it, which would be also very good and a lot more. And then we have the heart uh, where we 70% of all incoming damage will be staggered and released when we use our... Sorry. I have to get down from the horse. Our Earthen Bulwark. Also very good because I use Earthen Bulwark when I want to get out of a um, stun or something like this. And that's the whole build. And for the Barragon bot it's not very important because we went through here, we take the glyph for more vulnerable vulnerable damage. Also for three seconds when they get damage, vulnerable damage. That's I think not mandatory about but we get a lot more damage from the vulnerable damage. Then we got more spirit because we went through by this. We get the legendary note for after 75 spirit we get 30% more sp uh, damage and that's up all the time. Then we got the core skill damage increase. That is not fully activated but with better gear it becomes more activated. And then we have the core skill by 28% which is also very good. Also I think that board is good if you want you always have to spend something in the core skills and that's the first board you want to go and then from uh, you can see I will go down there and up here and yes it's very nice and we have the skill rune for uh, bonus damage to all magic nodes we see we have 8.4% uh, more core skill damage and more intelligence from this node, where is the node? There is the node. It's also very nice that you see in the cliff which uh, where it is. We can also use that one after that. Uh, the rare nodes do not get some benefits, only the blue magic nodes. But we can get a lot of uh, intelligence out of it and resistance to all, but the resistance is bug bugged. That's not so good. Yeah, that's all for it because I did not go for the um, Paragon points except for the Fractured Peak. We could get uh, 60 more Paragon points if I go for it, but I don't like to do the quests and spend one hour in every region to unlock it. No, thank you. That's too boring. So, and that's all for the build. And I want to run a little through a nightmare dungeon with you you will see it and after that we have a little talk about it and then for another video i want to do a review of the season one from from my perspective what was good what was bad so but let's get started with it we use uh, tier 16 because i like tier 16 and let's go for it. Also, uh, I'm a little bit groggy because yesterday I was on a bachelor's party and it went for the whole day with a little bit paintball. I get some blue marks on my whole body, especially on the legs. It was quite funny. Two hours after that, some auto drinking then into the city and yeah. We lost somebody, <laughs> he vanished, he drank too much, and uh, if my voice is not so good today, that could also be some reason for it. 
as always I don't use blue items or I don't collect them I don't collect any gems because my whole inventory gets full of it and I don't like it I also do not run so fast because right now I am talking with you and I have to concentrate on it English is not my first language, I try to get better at it and I think um, it's getting or it becomes better and better with the time get, when the time gets on. Sorry, I have to I yawn a little bit. Ah, what should we do? Slave uh, fractured spirits. Good, then we won't kill the little ones because I want to finish the dungeon fast. It's not so important. Except for these ones, we get a lot of experience from them. Come on, give me a little bit more. Oh, there's the first one. Catch them all in my vicinity. Trample them all. Use my creeper and down he goes. It's not very difficult. I can also do difficulty 19, but it takes a little bit longer. And I run so many nightmare dungeons that it became very boring for me. When you go, it, it's not that it's a bad game, it's a little bit more... It's It gets teetersome. It, uh, I don't know, in other action RPGs you always work a little bit for it. When you do something, also when you... Uh, to tell you the truth, I want to switch my build, but it's not so easy because you need the right uh, aspects, the right legendaries, the skilling is not such a big problem, also the Paragon board is not such a big problem because I got the universal board in the beginning. But it's not so easy and you can only do nightmare dungeons. I uh, also did some legions. Legions are very good for leveling. They are fast, they give a lot of experience, especially for the season pass. In the end, um, one legion gives you two nightmare dungeons or two and a half nightmare dungeons to three nightmare dungeons. Re uh, not renowned, um, what is it called for the season pass? The season pass unit. And it's more enjoyable because you play with a lot of other guys together. It, it's going fast and uh, sometimes it was me who made the most damage and when I did it I could do it alone because they are not so difficult. You can see it. Except for him. Everything dies with one hit. Or with one rotation. That's it. And the uh, trampling is very good. I very much like it. I like the whole Druid class. I think the class is very versatile and with the minion build or with the Necromancer it's not so funny to play it because yeah, you sit down there, you cast and you wait. No, not ah, Anima. Wait, 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 wait. Good. Come on, get down. That was very bad. I'm feared, and I run, and he's down. If I have to recommend it, use the Creeper Landslide because that's the first aspect you get from the season journey. And it's very strong. 
you can make a fast build but uh, I heard the lightning druid is better that's also not better it's faster in the beginning this season I did not very much try to get past through it as you can see there uh, I saw a speed run about getting to difficulty free or world tier free and that guy did it in two and two hours and 20 minutes which is very fast I have to say but until the third, uh, 50 levels he did the strongholds most of the time and to tell you the truth I don't like it to run in and out in the same place Yeah, and I know what I said, I do it with the dungeons, ha ha ha, very funny, but that's not what I mean. <laughs> uh, in the, the yesterday or this weekend we had the uh, Exile Con from Path of Exile, I saw Path of Exile 2. I am a very big fan of Path of Exile 2, but I am also a very big fan of um, Diablo 3 because I like it it's different it's fast you can switch um, you can switch the builds pretty fast when you got the new legendary with a new aspect and you want to try it out that's something you cannot do very much in Diablo 3 because when you change your legendary aspect for your build and want to try it most of the time you get weaker because you already got the optimum from it and then you cannot run the content you did the whole time and you get slower until you find another place for me I know I could get better legendaries or better legendary aspects if I switch out my breast and my head but to tell you the truth, I like to run around with the werebear and I uh, give a shit on the meta, uh, meta build. No, 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 no. Get out of it. And we have our boss time. I also found out what that enemies are. When they are around, the other enemies have a shield. Also, but I have a spirit problem. That's the only thing I have to say, which is a little bit depressing. But they want to fix it also. We won't go to the right. Or should we go before it's stand? Yeah, let's explore the whole dungeon. You can see um, when I leveled, I only run through the dungeons. Did some of my Paragon point. Thank you. Did some of my uh, creeper waves and run again because everything dies. That makes them very, very fast, but why do the dungeons always have something to do for me? If I want only to run a dungeon and run through it fast and without complications and kill the boss or look for an event, isn't that best thing? It's more like the developers want to restrict you what you have to do. That is a little bit unfortunate. Path of Exile, what I wanted to say is uh, you have the gems and you level them up. You maybe f find not the right circles or find a new circle and you want to try something else. And you ha always have some progression and you can say what map you want to run and how fast you want to run. 
there are maps when I run through it. I uh, don't know if you know about the flicker build, but I did a flicker build once and I was so fast. The bad thing about the flicker build is when you flicker through the map, you will lose <laughs> your uh, drops and you have to run back to them. <laughs> that was the only thing I did not like <laughs> about the flicker build. But it's your agency to do what you want to do. If you want to run back, you should do it. If you don't want... Uh, who said that? Um, was it Esmon Gold or some other one? It's more like the developers want to give you this, this build and don't go too far with that build and... If we find a build that's overpowered, we will restrict it because we f did not think about it. That's not what an ARGP is. An ARGP is to get overpowered. That's also the reason why I like the bullet heavens. First, you have to grind it, you're not so good, uh, not so powerful, but you increase your power. And then you run through hordes of enemies fast, slow, and you can do everything. And when you have unlocked everything and made the hardest boss, now we go, we increase our damage, we take one wine, we run through it, and the boss goes down. If I would not stand in the damage zone. So, and he got down. And that's all. That's if I really want to do it, I can run a dungeon in seven minutes or six minutes or something. But if you do ten dungeons in one hour, you get crazy. And that's the reason why I very much like to do the Legion events. Hell died, I did also hell died, but it's not fun, there are no enemies around. It's uh, yeah, look for the enemy. Oh they got killed, oh look for all the enemies, oh they got killed. And then there was a fat boss which I did alone because nobody else was there and it's not like the Legion event. The Legion event is very nice. Also there is no Legion event on the go. And yeah, that was the whole season journey. It from 1 to 50 it was nice from 50 to 65 it was tedious also uh, most of the points in the barricade board sorry that was the wrong button you get one point yay you go next one next one next one and which is the diff difference between that board and the path of exile if you want to compare it in Path of Exile, you get a passive point or something for your passive tree. You go there, 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 and on like this. And there you have, from one interesting note, you have to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine. You can see it. When I go for there, I go first for the legendary note, and it took me one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two levels, uh, three levels until I got an interesting point. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. That, let's take 16. 16 divided by 4 is uh, 4. That means 4 levels. And 4 levels are not or are very long. 4 levels are very long. I would do rather the achievements for the renown before going to leveling. Because from 50 to 65, I did not track how long I did it. Because the last video and this video, there are at least 10 hours, 12 hours, 20 hours, I don't know. Can we use plate? No. There are no. Uh, give me some. Do we have some uh, comments for it? Commands. Give me some commands. What is when we do that? That help. Help. Yeah. Reply party game. Message nearby players. Message log. 
we cannot uh, give in blade or something like this. That's very unfortunate. Because I want to know how long I played this character. Let's wait. Maybe we can use the social tab. We have our character here. Doesn't he look good? I very much like the armor set or the cosmetics. Could be a little bit more over the top, but it's very good for the Diablo style. A uh, few profile. Can we see the plate? Set to private? No. Options? No. Mm. No. I don't know if we can see how long you played it. But it took a long time for 15 levels. I can tell you this. It took me much more time. I'm working. I'm 40 hours to, in the week. Then I have some friends, some families. <laughs> Yeah, but maybe I'm not um, the normal gamer anymore. That's also why I want to do the channel, because with the channel I finished that season. Because I would have stopped it around here somewhere. Somewhere by at 70 or something like this. And I did not, would not have done it. We also got the horse, which looks pretty good. And as you can see, the ashes are missing. I only got four ashes with 8% more XP. That is very shitty for a season journey. Please, could you not give me a 20, 30% because if I have a second character and I want to level him up, I know you want to play us a lot longer, but be real, there are... There are other games, Remnant 2, uh, some Bullet Heaven or other online games. I cannot always play Diablo 4. That game or right now Diablo 4 is not where it could be. It takes some time. It will get the time, but let's talk about it in another video. So, um, I will try the... Uh, lightning build, lightning strike build for the tree. If it's good, I will do a video about it, but not. But if it's not, then that was it for me. I will play it for the next season. Also, if, uh, if the cosmetics are good, I play it with the season pass. Else, I will play it without the season pass and do the level 50 journey or uh, get a little bit farther if they change a lot more. They have three months to go and yeah I don't say it's a bad game it's a good game it's a Diablo is a normal game it's funny it looks good it has some nice features and I very much like the whole aesthetics and the background and story of it but it's not a game you can play endlessly I couldn't tell you this I played every or uh, most of the seasons in Path of Exile uh, three years ago before I had no time for it extensively and I had always to do something because yeah I wanted to try this or I found uniques and tried another build but uh, another character I uh, switched from one to another with a dualist because I found um, give an example the unique for the flicker strike and then I went full into it and it only took me less than a day to get it to level 50 and bring the flicker strike online or something like this. But if I want to level a new character, it will be a little bit faster because of the experience, but I will play again until 52 days, 3 days with my time schedule and that is not what I wanted of an alt. Or alternative character that I, I can do this for World of Warcraft what I also played for years and years and but that's a long-term investment in Diablo because my art is on the same server and I use it to farm or to play another style or most I like to play the hunter as damage dealer in alternative to my main tank and heal but 
in Diablo, I only want to get in there and want to kill as fast as possible and get the right loot for my thing, but in another video. So, guys, I know I have a second subscriber now. Thank you for watching, both of you, if you watched it, and let's see each other next time. See ya!